In this tutorial, I will show you how to add a vignette effect in Blender's compositor. And a vignette is that dark area around the image, and it kind of brings your eye into the center of the image. And this Mars Rover image is an artwork which I recently finished, and I created a creation process video on how I create the Mars Rover. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll have the links in the description. So once you've rendered out your image in Blender, we're gonna click right over here to go to the compositing tab. And then I'm going to click on use nodes, and then also click click right here to make sure the backdrop is turned on. Now the compositing is going to add a render layers, and so you can add the vignette to the render layers, so the image that you've rendered. Or if you have an image on your computer that you wanna add the vignette to, then you can drag and drop the image into Blender like I'm doing here. So you can add the vignette to the render layers or an image that you already have on your computer. Now I wanna plug the image up to the image here on the composite, and then I also have the Node Wrangler add-on turned on in Blender's user preferences. So I'm I'm going to control shift and select the rover image that's going to add the viewer node so we can preview the image in the background and then you can see it's not showing up in the background so real quick i'm just going to hit the f12 button that's going to render the image and then i'm going to hit the escape key to go back and i can now see the composite in the background so now let's add the vignette effect so I'm going to press shift A, let's go here to the search, and I'm going to search for the box mask, and I'm going to drop it up here. Now you can also press shift A, go here to the search, and you could also search for the ellipse mask, drop this down here. So I'm going to control shift and select the ellipse mask, and you can see the ellipse mask is basically a circle, whereas if I control shift and select the box mask, the box mask is a square. So if you want your vignette to be more circular, you could use the ellipse mask, but I'm going to be using the box mask. But either one will work great. So if you select the box mask, you can see that there is a box there in the preview. And if I just make the box mask bigger, there is a width and height value. So I can drag the width and height value to change the size of the box. And I wanna make this box pretty big, but I do wanna leave a little bit of space between the box and the end of the image. And you can also hold down the shift key as you drag these values to make your movements more sensitive. So if I now control shift and select the box mask, you can see the box mask is white, but then everything else is black. Now I need to blur this box, so I'm gonna press Shift A, let's go here to the search, and I'm gonna search for the blur node, and we're gonna stick the blur node after the box. And then I can change the X and Y values to blur this, so I'm gonna click on the X value and then drag down, and then I can drag this forward, and that's gonna blur both values at the same time. You can also click and then drag down and then let go, and type in a specific value, so I'm gonna use a value of 300. And you can now see that that box mask is very blurred. So we just need to add this to our final compositing now. So to combine these together, I'm gonna press Shift A, let's go here to the search, and I'm gonna search for the alpha over node, and we're gonna stick the alpha over node right here before the final composite. And then I can also control Shift and select the alpha over to preview it. And then I wanna take the image here from the blur, and I wanna put this into the factor. Then the final image is going to go into the bottom image. And then the top image here is gonna be the color of the vignette. So I'm gonna make this top image fully black so that the vignette is very dark. But if you wanted to make it a different color, like in this case, maybe like a red color or an orangey color, then you could just change this top image to whatever color you want the vignette to be. Now, once you're done with the compositing to save this image, you can press the F11 key, and this is going to take you to the image editor. And then we need to click right here on the render result and we need to choose the viewer node and this is going to preview what the viewer node can see in the compositing and then to save this image you can click on image and you can click on save as so that's it for the tutorial so i hope this was helpful and thank you for watching